The art party is sort of becoming a slightly chaotic but broader movement of people who are feeling vocal that they can you know, chart the progress of how the arts are doing in this country, both in education and more, more generally. And so it's really getting in front of politicians both this government and the next government and future governments and saying what we want you know it's okay protesting about cuts to the arts but you actually have to say well we want a society we want a society which is like this the amazing thing about art as is a subject is that the answers are not prescribed by the teacher so the kid comes up with the answers and if the kid comes up with the answers they then believe in those answers and then they can say no i don't agree with that Art is very future gazing and uh, so to sell that, promote it and fund it in a time of austerity seems to make perfect sense to me and lots of other people. The fundamental thing uh, to understand about Michael Gove and the last four years of educational policy is that Michael Gove quite rightly I think has thought I want to make education you know, more robust and more rigorous but his way of doing it is to do something completely illogical, is to say that certain subjects are sort of substandard and certain subjects have real standards. The arts have been seen as somehow second rate and, uh, and secondary to subjects like maths and English, which is absurd because creativity and innovation are really important. To make the film, I collaborated with Tim Newton, who's this amazing filmmaker. That went rather well. So I gave the opponent some food for thought. Now, where's the car? We could be back at London in time for dinner. What are you trying to prove, Michael? I didn't know. With all this My favourite scene in the film is when Hetty Nettleship, who's Michael Gove's aide, comes out of the conference after hearing, having this breakup with Michael Gove, and she uh, looks over the bay at Scarborough and. Uh, I find it hard to talk about actually because it's, it's really emotional. But she's looking out over the bay, wondering what her life is about, and thinking that you know she's just she's just basically resigned. And it's really powerful. And in the film, she you know you can see tears in her eyes. And uh, oh, it's just great, you know. Really sums up actually how I feel, you know, like the whole process of doing this and battling. You know, that we've been we've been marching along with this art party thing for three years, basically. You know, we made a film. It's about the issue is about creativity, but actually the creative aspect of making the film both it is of itself, you know, what it's all about. You know, is the subject of the film. And then also organising these art parties and screening the film, making all that happen. People who come to the film are sort of kind of part of it, you know. And at the art party event at the ICA, it really, I mean, it's, it's good to say that there are art parties, you know, going on all across the country, you know, uh, Towner, Corner House, uh, Hetworth, Wakefield. I mean, there are a lot, there are a lot of these events happening. Uh, but at the ICA, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, a really sort of special event because we're going to have uh, some of the performers who uh, are in the film, but we'll also have uh, a, a kind of an amazing after party. The worst thing to do is to say to people that they're not radical enough, you know, you know why haven't you joined the art party? You know, I don't want that ever to happen, you know. I want people to come to it on their own terms. And one thing everybody can do is do the democratic thing, which is go out and vote in the next election. That's really key. If you're a young person, don't listen to Russell Brand. Get out there and vote. <laughs> and, uh, and vote with a bit of hope in your heart. It doesn't really matter what you vote, but go out there and do it with the best of intentions. And then the other thing, you might think that's kind of not doing very much, but bombarding politicians with letters actually does work. And, uh, and it puts pressure on them and lets the lets them know that you exist.